Welcome everybody, my name is Peter and my name is Susan and this is a crazy random video. Hope, Hope you enjoy. Babe. Yes. What are you doing? Playing old school Zelda game. Cool. Are you hungry? Yeah, I am hungry. You want to taste some new snacks? Sure. Let's make them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's brand new video. How's everybody doing? Um, what are we going to do? Try new Dutch food. Try new Dutch food indeed. Um, for the people who don't know, I'm from Holland. She found me from Holland and made me move to Finland. She put, you know, force to it and I had to come to Finland. No, it was my own choice. It was my own choice. Um, I'm living here for a year and say three, four months, I think. Yeah. Fair enough to say that. And there's a lot of st stuff that I absolutely miss from Holland. Uh, we found a website. I'm not going to say the website because it's not sponsored by whatever. Um, but we ordered some little bit of Dutch food. It's not like only candy. It's like real food food. And um, she never tried it. I love it. So I love the video already. If you do too, after all, press the like button. And um, see if you can pronounce the food. Okay. Because that, that's going to be a tough one. Okay, so we we'll first start with the sandwich. You can try it. We choose white bread, we put butter in there, and we put hagelslag on there. Hagelslag. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have to do that. It's a really great meal. Okay, go for it. It's, um, yeah. Yeah, it's your own bread, so it doesn't. That is nasty then. It's, it can't be wrong. I mean, it's chocolate on bread. Every woman likes that. Awkwardness. <laughs> Do you like it? No, it's not so bad. I think I. Yeah. But I'm normally not eating bread and chocolate at the same time. Uh huh. So it's a little bit like I'm not my favorite. Okay. But it's good. Okay. Now, this is what we eat like as a kid. I'm, I'm gonna take a bite, a bite because I didn't have it for like a year and three months at least. Uh, this is what we eat like kids in the breakfast or at lunch sometimes it, not every single day not like oh kids in Holland are like every, all of them are like Peter the same size and shit no uh, everybody knows the story that Dutch people like a lot of cheese so shut up mm -hmm. oh yeah oh oh it's so good oh yeah I'm sorry but this is mmm Okay, I can't eat with full mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, just try to imagine you you I'm me eating this for my whole life. I know. Until I was twenty four years old. I came here and then didn't, didn't have it anymore. And then imagine how that is eating it after one year and three months again. It's fucking delicious. I think you like it because you already threw three bites. Okay, save the hunger for the um, Rest of the stuff. <laughs> so, what is the name of this? I don't know. <laughs> Hagel. Hagel. Slag. Slag. Hagel. Slag. <laughs> she can't say the g. <laughs> Love yeah, I'm, it. I'm mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Good. Um, next, we have this um, paper noten. Paper noten. Oh? Paper noten. That, that was not bad. I mean, you have to say the R. Paper noten. Paper. <laughs> paper. <laughs> paper. <laughs> paper noten. noten. Uh, it's not bad. I can accept it. Um, this is what we eat as kids. Go for it. The smell is like Ooh. super traditional. Um, I think we have something same here too. Okay. We have an, uh, a holiday in, in, in Holland called Sinterklaas. It looks a little bit like Santa Claus, but it's a little bit different. He comes with... Um, some, it's it's a it's a man with the right the red suit with a white beard but doesn't look like Santa Claus. I will put a picture there, uh, you guys can see it. Um, 
there's a lot of racial stuff at the moment in Holland. If you want to read it, it's probably on the internet. But this is stuff and uh, some other candies that they give to little kids. It's coming from Spain. Yeah. And it's really yum yum. So go for it. It's like a, oh sorry, yeah, it's almost like we're gonna have ten dollars like that. <laughs> it's like a cookie. It's like speculaas. I don't know if it's an English word for speculaas. I like it. I like it a lot. We eat in um some kind of cookie in Finland too. It's just named named Pipar. Yeah, I'm gonna say. It's not. Uh, they are normally like a bigger ones. Oh yeah, we have we've sometimes bigger it. ones too. Like and uh, we normally make it like a, it looks like something like a star or angel, like a Christmas thing, Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. So many different looks. It's yum yum. Yeah. Good. And now we have the thing that I have been waiting for the most. Okay. Are we going to do that or the other one first? You can choose. Okay, we're gonna do the one I have been waiting one for so long. We have this really traditional Dutch snack called a frikandel. It is made from chicken and pork and some spices. There is nowhere else than beside Belgium and Holland where you can buy this. And I'm for real, I tried every single website, I've, <laughs> I tried to find it, I even tried to make it myself, but it was not bad, we still freaking miss this one. And we're gonna try it, it's pretty warm, I still feel, so be a little bit careful. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have some mayonnaise, some ketchup and some mustard. We normally eat a bit of uh, ketchup and mayonnaise. Uh, it's up to you which one, you, you're not a favorite fan of mayonnaise, so you go for the ketchup. Take a bite of it and then let me know how does it taste a frikandel to you. Very, very good. It's really good, huh? Yes. <laughs> can I eat it all? Hmm? Can I eat it all? Now you have one box and I have one box. <laughs> yeah, I can eat it all. What? Mm. So, I'm, I'm gonna try it too. I, literally, I have been waiting for so long for this one. I'm gonna take a little bit of mayo here. Oh, that's so good. Mm hmm. That is. Oh my god. It's good, huh? It's very good. I, I like it. Now I'm gonna take one more bite. Wow. So good. You can't stop eating, huh? No. You wanna eat more? Yeah, but it's for the sake of the video. I know. For you guys, so we keep going. <clears throat> Take another sip of a drink. <laughs> okay. So it's really good. Um, like I said, it's made from uh, pork and chicken. Um, nom nom. It's a snack in Holland. Uh, it's, how I say it, it's really easy to bite. It's like... They, they smash the meat together like a sausage and they just bake it in fried oil. Um, another really good traditional Dutch snack is this one. It's almost not buying in uh, in the world too, like Belgium and Holland as far as I know. They call it a croquette. Croquette. Croquette, yeah. Uh, you can also eat a bitter bowl. Maybe some people eat a bitter bowl that they know it. It's the other traditional one. They made little balls out of it. It tastes just a tiny little bit different. It's very crispy on the outside. You guys are going to probably hard that, that. <laughs> but it's like really nice tasty meat in the inside. I can tell you, I told you it's warm. Okay. As you guys can see there, put it like close to the camera then. Oh, every Dutch person is like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? I like it. But think in the taste. It's cow it's meat just, in there. Yeah, yeah, it's just a very good one too. Like it. Yeah, it's really nice with uh, mustard. Okay. That's in your, of course you can eat it with traditional mayo, uh, ketchup, whatever. 
but I think the most traditional sauce for this is mustard, definitely, I would say. I'm gonna take one too. Oh, it's still nice and warm inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you it's very hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we left it already a little bit on the table here. <laughs> I love it, that one too. It's Fruit good, huh? Candela and croquette. croquette this. They're really good, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. And the cookies. Never cook it and this oh, it's not so bad. You like no, it? I mean, you no. took three bites out of it. No, no. <laughs> you yeah, keep eating. <laughs> so we're gonna keep continually eating this. Um, I like it all. Um, if you guys want to see more uh, videos for traditional foods, maybe some foods from Finland that she has to make for us, and then I have to try because there's probably still some food that I haven't tried yet. For sure, because I, when I go to the uh, to the store, I see food I never buy and it's like super traditional it's like the rice bread thingies yeah i never tried them so maybe let's let's try them for next time um let us know quickly down in the comment section below but you guys want us to make for the next time a special random video because we still need some ideas yeah because we want to keep this going I, I really i really like this kind of videos they're new they're for us something else and delicious okay <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna keep continuing eating. Press the like button, press the subscribe button if you're brand new. Press the little bell there so you get a notification when there's a new video coming up. We try to upload on every Monday and every Wednesday. Monday is coming to you random videos. <laughs> She's really enjoying it. And Wednesday is the weekly vlog coming up. So stay tuned for Wednesday. It's gonna be a weekly vlog. Oh my god. I know, right? Uh, live streams are coming up too. We'll try to make some time for it. Be aware that my schedule for next week starting is a little bit busy. And I'll explain that in another video. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.